Hello, dear friends. Welcome to another edition of your favorite weekend character building show, Revetics. My name is Dr. Yukiria Oluchinwaichi. I am an environmental biochemist at the University of Port Harcourt, the acting director of the Exchange and Linkage Program Unit of same university. I'm more connected with the topic of today, the president of the Organization for Women in Science in the Developing World, University of Port Harcourt chapter. But just before we begin, let us take an opening message from Her Excellency, Justice Mrs. Eberechi Suzet, Nyeson Wiki, the initiator of Revetics. Greetings to the peace-loving people of River State. Welcome to another episode of Revetics on Radio, a character-building we can show. Please remember that empowering more women and girls in science, technology, engineering and mathematics also called stem will result in yet another wonder of the world this episode is in commemoration of the united nations international day of women and girls in science that comes up on february 11 every year science and gender equality are both vital for the achievement of the internationally agreed development goals including the 2030 agenda for sustainable development over the past 15 years the global community has made a lot of effort in inspiring and engaging women and girls in science. Yet, women and girls continue to be excluded from participating fully in science. The outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic has clearly demonstrated the critical role of women in science at different stages of the fight against the pandemic, from advancing the knowledge on the virus, developing techniques for testing, to playing the critical role of first responders and finally creating the vaccine against the virus. At the same time, the COVID-19 pandemic also had a significant negative impact on women scientists, particularly affecting those at the early stages of their careers and thus contributing to widening the existing gender gap in science. Against this backdrop, this year's celebration of the day addressed the theme, Women Scientists at the forefront of the fight against COVID-19 and gather together experts working in fields related to the pandemic from different parts of the world. At present, less than 30% of researchers worldwide are women and only 30% of all female students select STEM-related fields in higher education. Long-standing biases and gender stereotypes are steering girls and women away from science-related fields. Society at all levels, and I mean family, community, worship centers, recreation clubs, states and countries must strive to achieve full and equal access to science for women and girls, thereby narrowing the gender equality gap. Let us listen to our guest speaker today as she expounds on the subject. She is Dr. Yukaria Oluchi Waichi, the President, Organization of Women in Science for the Developing World, University of Port Harcourt Branch. Enjoy the episode and, of course, put the useful lessons learned to great use. Welcome back. If you're just tuning in, this is Rivertex on radio. And my name is Dr. Yukaria Oluchinwaichi. I'll be speaking on the topic commemorating the International Day of Women and Girls in Science 2021. This is on Thursday 11 February 2021 and it is the sixth edition in the series. About the day... It was established by the UN General Assembly on 22nd of December 2015. Why was it created? It was created, one, to raise awareness on the issue surrounding women and girls in science. Secondly, to celebrate women's excellence in science. And then to remind the international community that science and gender equality have to be pari pursued to address major global challenges and achieve all the goals and targets of the Agenda 2030 for Sustainable Development. At present, for example, less than 30% of researchers worldwide are women. Just let's get it straight. One in 10 is 10%. So we mean only three of 10. Gender inequality affects everyone, not just women. Because gender equality is a human right. It achieves full and equal access to and participation in science for women and girls. The benefit of gender equality transcends beyond bounds. It calls for prevention of violence against women. It is good for the economy. It makes for communities to be safer and healthier. You can see we have a lot to benefit from gender equality, where equal opportunity rights and privileges are given to men and women. 
in science because we're talking about science domain today. Are women and girls in science really survivors? The answer is no, for sure. Anything goes in a society today, especially in the world of science. You're just a woman, you're often reminded. You can leave that one for a woman when all the positions have been taken. We also have skills, we have passion, we have yearning desire, we have experiences, we have niche, and so on and so forth. So we equally can be marketable to take our passion beyond hobby into career. Oftentimes people like to learn things in one way. You can't have a holistic view except you open your mind. So try to learn things in more than one way. Begin to think about gender equality today in whatever you do, especially in the sphere of science, so we can get the development in a sustainable manner. The road ahead, significance of 2021 team. You know, this is a very beautiful time to discuss this team of women and girls in science internationally when our beautiful sister, Dr. Ngozi Okonjo Iwala, has been sworn in as the Director General for World Trade Organization. It really gladdens my heart to bring in this at this particular special moment. The theme for this year is women scientists at the forefront of the fight against COVID-19. Yeah, it's a beautiful theme because COVID-19 pandemic has been the major issue in the news everywhere because it's a terrorized the world not just Africa, not just Nigeria, but the whole globe. So COVID-19 pandemic has highlighted the importance of collaboration for increased visibility, intersectionality for sustainable and innovative solutions, research-informed gender policy making, and tailored funding policies to address specific needs based on robust evidence that we have generated. Now more than ever, I tell you, is a critical time to support women. The pandemic has challenged everyone, Regardless of the agenda, it did not come men or knock on women though. But more toll has been recorded on women. Many female scientists are struggling to keep up with increased child and family care demands. Ordinarily, female scientists do more household work than male scientists. This is true. So, loss of work hours is attendant with the pandemic that brought everybody home, child at home, husband at home, other people who stay in the house at home. So this could have long-term impacts on their career. They have this different playing ground to be promoted, to finish their research for the younger academics, maybe running their PhD programs. The time for research, they're using it for household work while their male counterparts are right on their research. So this has a lot of debilitating effect on the women scientists. COVID-19 pandemic has clearly demonstrated the critical role of women researchers in different stages of the fight against COVID-19. So have, have graduated fight against COVID-19 into advancing the knowledge on the virus, producing protective equipment, identifying natural remedies, targeting symptoms of COVID-19, facility design, developing techniques for testing and vaccine against the virus. So I go to the first one, advancing the knowledge on the virus. So beautiful women like Dr. Veti Agala, President of Medical Women Association of Nigeria, River State, Professor Florence Nduka, who is at the forefront of pushing ethics and science using the lens of COVID-19. Professor Rose Ogu, a gynecologist, looking at COVID-19 patients who are women, and many others. Producing protective equipment, we have Henry Tao Loma Asuzo Samuel, who is also a member, who have been at the forefront producing protective equipment, even N95 that are for medical professionals. Identifying natural remedies targeting symptoms. We have Dr. Ngozu Koye, who has been looking at natural remedies that could bring down the symptoms of COVID-19. Facility design. Yeah, we have Dr. A.T. Awobeju in our branch of OWSD Uniport, who is an expert in making a reasoned assessment of design for treatment of coronavirus patients or for isolation of patients who have come down with coronavirus. So these are amazing women. Developing techniques for testing, we have Rosalind Franklin, who has given us a lot of information about DNA structure and understanding it. The work won Nobel Prize four years after her death, but later she had been recognized. Kian Zhang, Rachel Graham, these are beautiful women who have made a lot of progress in techniques around COVID-19 development for testing. Vaccine against the virus. We have Gita Patel, fortunately an immigrant from India into US, 
Now Novavax has taken her work further for vaccine development. Lisa A. Jackson, these are all women. So we can see all the strata of COVID-19 response and fight that women are there. What are the challenges that hinder the advancement of women in science? So we have some work by Somerville and Gruber and Akiko 2020. They've identified these important factors. A sense of belonging is a factor hindering the advancement of women in science. So a lot of women in science feel no sense of belonging. When you are in a field where works are given to some other sect, maybe the male folks, because they've got biggest physical strength or whatever thing, stereotypes, you can name them. So they feel, I don't belong here. Some have chosen some courses in their jam to study science and it's, oh, you're a woman. You can't study this. Why don't you go for this? So all of these make for no sense of belonging and they drop out because of the no sense of belonging. Let's go on a short break. We will be right back. Welcome back. If you're just tuning in, this is River Text on radio, and my name is Dr. Yukiria Oluchimwechi. Speaking on the topic, commemorating the International Day of Women and Girls in Science 2021. So we are still talking about challenges that hinder the advancement of women in science, and we've started with sense of belonging, where a lot of women scientists and girls who are in science feel no sense of belonging being a scientist because of practices and the cultural plays around being a scientist, they think is a man's role to be famous because scientists these days are famous. So they think this is a male world. So no sense of belonging. We need to change those attitudinal problems. Women face harassment and bullying. In 2018, the National Academies of Science, Engineering and Medicine, NASM, released a comprehensive report stating that up to 50% of female students face sexual harassment in STEM. By STEM, we mean science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and medicine, because my STEM has double M and not one M. So what are we doing about sexual harassment, bullying in the laboratory around women in science, girls in science? This is really, really affecting us. Women are compensated less than men. In most parts of the world, they're looking at salary reviews because most men earn further salaries than women. But compensation does not end with money. It can be recognition, it can be promotion, it can be appointments. So we have more men appointed into positions rising from science, engineering, technology, mathematics, medicine. So we need to look at this. Unconscious or conscious bias against women and people of color that prevent these brilliant people moving up the ladder is another factor. So I have a, w- a woman who was a deputy vice chancellor in one university in Nigeria. Last time she shared her story. She told us they had a meeting where she was the only woman among the principal officers. And could you imagine it was time for tea break? She was asked to serve tea. Just because, what sin did she call me? Just because she's a woman and she's a scientist. So she didn't like this. She fought her way to make them know that it is hierarchical. So they look at it and see who is supposed to serve tea. Not because she's a woman, but by hierarchy. What is your position in the meeting? Yeah. So everybody needed to be given their due as they have been placed by position, by appointment, not being treated unfairly because she is a woman. So analyzing the cause-effect relationship between undesirable things I have enumerated so far and identifying underlying causes that contribute to them happening is really very critical to moving forward. Remember, theory of change says any investment that does not address root constraints will be wasted because the overall performance of the system will not improve, never. These problems I've enumerated have been there for decades. More concerted efforts and awareness can move us steadily towards equality. This we can do by setting measurable goals and progressive targets for change across these areas I would mention now leadership empowerment and cultural change, safety and freedom from gender-based violence, economic security and health and well-being. So if we can do policies that are having measurable goals around these themes, we can actually make progress. What are the research activities that scientists, engineers do that women are not capable of doing? Women are shown example in doing this perfectly well, writing proposals, 
developing theoretical models, designing experiments, data collection, analyzing data, communicating with colleagues, doing literature review, reviewing colleagues' works, writing articles and position papers, converting data to accessible, durable and portable piece or database. So this we have done. We have Lindo Genekaru go to Kengu doing machine language in our university. So women have shown exemplary skills in all of these male-dominated fields in STEM. Interesting facts show that we may have made mistakes in responding to unexpected COVID-19 pandemic. But we have, however, become more experienced now and we have learned our lessons. So we are less prone to mistakes, if you agree with me. And if we share this learning, those coming after us will learn from our successes and go higher. Instead of crawling, they can be running. The playing the victim card is long expired. Oh, the white people kept us here. Oh, X, Y kept us here. We should wake up and embrace gender equality in science so we can move forward. So we can review or replace bad policies around science so we can get it right. At our Organization for Women in Science in the Developing World, University of Potako chapter, we have tried to do the following to improve the lot of women in science, developing the confidence of mid-career and advanced women scientists to be mentors. As research has shown that younger female scientists are more motivated when accomplished women scientists serve as mentors, serve as speakers and leaders in their field. We are running advocacy, meeting target audience to present our issues and make available evidence so policies can be enacted and implemented in the direction that we are seeing. Capacity building of our members in teaching and collaborative research, which is non-negotiable, of course, to make a productive leap as COVID-19 taught us that each individual is for him or herself. So we need to work together. Activating network for members to leverage on and creating opportunity to showcase own research and expand scientific and professional skills as most women are not able to fund members trip to conferences where they provide opportunities for them to showcase their research. So we are providing such platforms and we also documenting who is doing what to guide action. I recommend that we, as a people of the world, wear a gender lens across strata, be you policymakers, be you employers, be you entrepreneurs, and indeed all stakeholders, so we can move from surviving to thriving as we sincerely and explicitly support gender equality, especially in STEM field. Let's go on a short break. We'll be right back. Welcome back. If you're just tuning in, this is Rivetex on radio. And my name is Dr. Yukeria Oluchi Waichi. I've been speaking on commemorating the International Day for Women and Girls in Science 2021. And in conclusion... What we have done so far at Organization for Women in Science in the Developing World University of Portaco chapter is to make sure this happens to improve our lot in science. Developing the confidence of mid-career and advanced women scientists to be mentors. Our research has shown that younger female scientists feel more motivated when accomplished women scientists serve as mentors, when they serve as speakers and also leaders in their field. We also run in advocacy with the target audience policy makers, entrepreneurs, individuals, telling them about their issues and proposing solutions that could bring about inclusion of gender in science policies and implementation. We also building capacities of members in teaching and collaborative research, which is a non-negotiable part to make a productive leap as COVID-19 taught us that each individual is for himself or herself, necessitating collaboration. We also activating network for members to leverage on for different areas of servicing science. We also creating opportunities to showcase own research and expand scientific and professional skills. It is very difficult to find funding to travel for conferences, workshops, seminars, symposia. So we making platforms for members to showcase own research and also learn from others. We also documenting who is doing what to guide future action. So I recommend that as a people of the world, we should wear a beautiful gender lens across strata, whether you're policymakers, employers, 
entrepreneurs and indeed all stakeholders so we can move from surviving to thriving as we sincerely and explicitly support gender equality, especially in STEM field, that means science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and medicine field. And I'll leave you with the beautiful words of Marvin Minsky. He says, Societies need rules that make no sense for individuals. For example, it makes no difference whether a single car drives on the left or on the right, but it makes all the world of difference 